Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be doing something fun. We're going to be putting mini brands on my nails. Now specifically the Make It Mini series. I'm sure everyone has already heard of these, but I'm going to explain anyway. These little kits are basically like little miniature DIY food replica kits. They give you like little pieces of whatever you need and resin, which I actually did not believe at first when my sister-in-law was telling me about these. She asked me if I had seen them on TikTok and I was like, no. And she was telling me that the Miniverse brand, which I'm sure we've all at least seen somewhat before, made these like little resin craft kits. And I honestly did not believe her at first because to my knowledge, this is really directed towards kids. And I don't know, resin for kids just wouldn't automatically be one of the things I think they should, could, would play with. Uh, but I'm not a parent, so what do I know? I do hope that when parents are getting these for their kids, they are reading the safety precautions because not everyone handles resin often and there are safety precautions you should take. But anyway, these come with so many little itty bitty pieces and I had gotten a couple for me and my husband to do just as like a little craft date night. And of course, the second I opened these and saw just how many some of these little items were, I had the unresistible urge to put them on my nails, of course, as I do with many little itty bitty mini things. So these are also actually little mystery boxes. I don't know, there's usually like 15-ish different versions you can get and you don't know which one is which, but I'll be honest, while I was picking them out, I probably spent a really, really, really long time in the toy aisle just shaking them because I tried to actually get ones that I could hear little itty bitty pieces in them because some of the stuff is, in my opinion, a little bit too big to put on nails. So I did try to get things that had really small pieces. So I was just in the toy aisle shaking like 50 of these being like, but I have this one. Sounds like little pieces to me. What do you guys think? Then we have this one. And lastly, okay, let's hope there's little itty bitty mini pieces in these. So I got three different series to open so that way there is no doubles and we have a lot of variations and things to choose from for these. Now I'm not quite sure how I even plan on incorporating the stuff into the nails. I don't know if I'm gonna like make the mini and then put that on my nails or use just some of this stuff like in the design, I'm not sure yet. So let's get into it. I think that I'm going to open the smallest one first. All right, so let's open it on up. They all come in these like little itty bitty mini bags. So inside there's like, I don't know, like five or six things to open in each one of them. So first thing is just like this little piece of paper. I don't know what that's supposed to be. You do get like your instructions and stuff you should read first. And then this will show you like how to make each one and all of the different variations that you can get. We're not gonna look at it. So first thing looks like I would say like a mixing or a salad bowl. Next up is stock. So this is the resin part. I don't know if we're going to use the resin itself on the nails. We'll have to see how I feel about that in a little bit. But nonetheless, this is stock. So I actually have no idea what this could be. Could this be like a chicken soup maybe? I think this could be a soup. We got some pasta. Look at how cute these little things are. I see why everyone loves these. They are adorable. And they have like, I have to read this off my monitor because I actually can't see it IRL. So it says for the serving size, it is al dente 100%, pasta delicious 100%, and total yum 100%. I love little details like that. So fun. I think these are little chicken pieces, I think. And then lastly, these look like little veggies. Oh, this is so cute. And there's so many tiny pieces. We'll definitely be able to use this. So I guess we're doing a chicken soup nail. Do I make this an aquarium nail? Maybe. And lastly, oh my gosh, a little spoon. Okay. And lastly, you get these like little tweezers. That way you're not like moving things around in the resin with your fingers. You get a little top to this thing. That way you can like you know, take it off like you're a chef. And then we got in this one, a little spoon. So cute. Okay, so that's one of them. So looking at all of my ingredients, I think that I am going to try to do a 
aquarium nail just because I feel like all of these are definitely small enough to fit inside a nail and also like it's soup we have to do it so I'm going to start off with some pre-made aquarium tips these ones are by Sydney 33 and recently she told me that she figured out that you only need to rinse these out three times with acetone opposed to like filing the whole inside. So we will definitely try that because that's way easier than filing the inside. I think I'm gonna do my thumb for this nail because it is the biggest size. That way we have the most room in the tank. So let's just see if this fits. It might be a little big, but the next size is too small. So we'll go with number one. I am just going to file off these little ridges on the top really quick and then acetone. So she said to Push it out like three times. So one, two, and three. All right, now that should be it. Hopefully it's all nice and clear on the inside now. So let's get started filling this. So we gotta start with our pasta. Look at how cute those are. Okay, I'm gonna use this little bowl to put what we're gonna put in it. So we'll need a couple pieces of the noodles. I don't wanna overfill it, so let's say three. Then we have our veggies some carrot, celery, and I don't know what the white stuff would be in chicken soup. What would those be? Onion? I don't know. I'm a vegetarian, so I can't tell you the last time I had chicken soup, probably when I was a kid. Yep, I think. I just realized it's on the front there. So carrot, some celery, and onion. I'm definitely going for like the thinnest pieces in here. And then the chicken. Get a couple small pieces in there. Okay, hopefully that's not too much stuff. We can always downsize the inserts if we want. Then of course we have the bowl and spoon. I think I'm gonna probably put the spoon on top of the nail. And this, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure out a use for it at some point. Essentially my plan is I'm going to open this up and squeeze out a little bit so that we can see the color. And then I'm going to try to replicate this color and opacity or transparency with the oil that I'm going to be putting inside the nail. Because obviously we can't put this in the nail. Open like this. Here we are. Oh, okay. It's already open. Let's see what color this is. Okay, just like a light yellowish beige. I feel like that should be easy to make an oil. So I've actually got some oil-based food coloring to color the oil. And now this way I can start coloring oils in my aquarium nails. So I feel like we should probably find the yellow, which I imagine is this one. That might be all we need, although this yellow looks quite orange. This is actually quite a large tank, so I'm gonna squeeze a good amount of oil in here. You never know. I think that should be good though. This stuff looks super concentrated, so I'm gonna start off with just a tiny, tiny bit. And here's a reminder of the color we are trying to replicate. I know it seems like nothing, but I'm gonna try just that. I feel like this looks very concentrated, so you never know. All right, it looks like that did nothing. Okay, let's see. Okay, you know what? That's actually pretty similar. I think I'm gonna put like the smallest little dab of orange in there just because in this it's looking like, well, the name of the color is lemon yellow. It's kind of looking lemon yellow and this definitely has a tiny bit more of a, like an orange hue to it. Okay, tiny bit more. Okay, oh, I think it's perfect now. Color match, down. We should make the top to it before we fill it. And that's just gonna be a little bit of gel on a piece of something that it will peel off of. So we'll put a little bit of the oil in the bottom so it doesn't get stuck. And let's put these pieces in, okay. First the noodle, and then a carrot, celery, and an onion. Can't forget the chicken. Now we have a piece of everything in there. So now I'm just going to add in a little bit more of other things. Okay, so we got two noodles. That looks like it might be it for the noodles. Those are quite large and we still want things to kind of move a little bit at least, you know? Probably should do a second thing of chicken. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can just cut a little bit of length off. I don't know how. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Okay, these are gonna be smaller pieces. 
That way we can fit a little bit more or at least have them move around a little bit more. I am so glad these are easy to cut, like just like no problem, perfect. Okay, definitely can fit two pieces of that in there now. And we should probably also cut the chicken a bit so we can just cut these into like a couple pieces. Okay, I got all of it out of the nail because I definitely want to cut pieces up if I can. I honestly didn't think they would cut so easy. There we go, that looks so much more reasonable for a nail. So here's how that looks. I think just like a couple tiny more slivers of thing. There we are, that looks good to me. Now let's fill it. All right, put some gel here, the top, and flash cure. Then after a full cure, let's see if we have any leaks. Hopefully not. Will it move? Move! Yay! Okay, got any leaks? Any leaks? <gasps> nope, I think we're good. Okay, there is quite a large air bubble in there, but it was really hard to not get it with this. It was wanting to like go like that. So the edges kept getting oil on it and I needed to be able to seal it. So here we are, you know what? Things in here move and I'm happy about that. So that's good enough for me. I'm going to clean up this little top part really quick. And here we are. So now we can do the rest of the design. I'm gonna start with a base coat because I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of nail art on top. Then using my Nails by Dev liner, of course. I wanna start off by doing sort of a rounded frame on this so it kinda looks like it's in a bowl, but I don't wanna lose too much of the area that we see into, so it's gonna have to be like a oval bowl. Then I'm gonna fill the rest of it in with this F gel in white, of course, and the top. So my original plan was to make this bottom part like wood or something like it was a table i'm not sure if i want to do that or if i just want to put the spoon on because the spoon is quite big and it's gonna need to go over like that <laughs> somewhat okay you know what i actually do know what i'm gonna do so we'll put the spoon on and we'll put some of these pieces on the outside i think that's best i think we should place the spoon first that or that probably like that since it's so big okay we'll put a bit of gel on this and here, I feel like that looks good. So we'll do a little flash cure and then a full cure, of course. So somehow I forgot about doing a top coat. So I'm gonna do that now before I put on all those little pieces because that would be really annoying to do this around. So top coat it is. And shiny, of course. Shiny 100% works better for this. And finally, we're just gonna put a couple pieces of the chicken noodles and veggies around this just to kind of add some, you know, like pizzazz around it. And I just had a last second idea to put a little bit of soup inside the spoon. So I'm just whipping up some nail gel really quick in that same like creamy yellowish color and putting that in the spoon because I feel like that's just like the finishing touch. And here is the finished nail. I love it. Everything does move inside. Kind of hard to see, but it does. <laughs> I think this is so cute. You can definitely tell it's supposed to be like a chicken soup. And just for fun, let's see what it's supposed to look like. And here is their version. <laughs> I am going to put this on, but I'm gonna put it on after I've done the other nails, just cause I feel like all of this could get in the way. So let's move on. Next up, this one has like a little ramen thing on it. So let's see this. This one is the Diner series. The stuff in this one is bigger. What is this? You get so many warnings. Look at all of these. Why did I got so many? I'm supposed to get four in one? I don't know. Oh, it's in so many different languages. Just covering all their bases wherever they sell them. All right. First with these, these set up like a little table like so. And then it also looks like we got some sort of like cupcake stand or tiered rack. So I'd assume maybe we're getting like cupcakes or something. That would be so cute on nails also. So there's that. We'll open the cutlery first and it's just a little top and tweezers. So first bag we have 
the resin itself and this is a lemon cream and you get a little squeezy top to put on okay lemon cream not sure what we're making yet still I don't know all the options. I'm pretty sure my husband and I did something from the series, but we usually only ever do one each from each series. So I do not know all of the options. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be making little lemon cream tarts. These are so cute. And these definitely are nail sized, maybe a little bit bigger than you would normally put on, but also maybe not, I don't know. Next up. Okay, we got some meringue, cute. I'll open this up so we can see what these look like. <gasps> cute, all right, just so a bunch of just little dollops that look like they've been roasted, caramelized, baked. Don't know the word for it off the top of my head. Toasted? Yes, I think that's correct. And last little baggie. These are so cute, these little teeny tiny lemon slices. Oh my gosh. And they are perfectly nail sized, if I do say so myself. Like, don't you guys agree? They're just asking to be put on nails. So this nail is going to be lemon tarts. Now I'm not quite sure how I even plan on incorporating the stuff into the nails. I don't know if I'm gonna like make the mini and then put that on my nails or use just some of this stuff like in the design, I'm not sure yet. For this one, I'll probably make the tart and then put it on my nail. Cause I feel like these little tarts are definitely small enough to be able to be like on an actual nail and not have it be like crazy big. And I'm gonna do this one like directly on my hand cause I feel like the lemon tart's pretty easy. It's not nearly as complicated as an aquarium nail. So I'm confident I can do these on my actual hand. So before we do that, I need to pop on some nails. I'm gonna use my Maximum Square by Enail Couture and I'll probably chop these down a little bit. So I'm just gonna size them out and prep them. So we'll just size everything out. Some quick prep with some filing, putting some primer on the inside of these tips to help them stick. Using my Apre Extend Gel to put them on in this little lamp. I love this lamp because it's like motion activated which is really useful. And then just chopping them down a little bit. Now they're all on and we are ready to go. I think the first step is finding out what color exactly this is. That way I can color match it in nail stuff. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be quite a bright color. Whoa, very, very yellow. So to color match this, actually it looks like it's almost the exact color of this tiny gel. Okay, a little bit, honestly. I feel like we just probably need to thicken up that gel and add some opacity to it, really. I do need it to be a bit thicker though, so I'm gonna mix it with a clear gel. I'm not using the resin that came with the kits because I wasn't able to find the ingredients in it. I looked on the package and I looked in the booklets and I googled and I'm not able to find like what kind or you know what ingredients are in this resin i personally was speculating it would be like kind of similar to nail products because those are essentially safe for daily wear on your nails and since this stuff is going to be played with by kids i assumed it would be somewhere in that ballpark but i have absolutely no idea but i figured since i don't know i'm just going to be safe especially since i'm going to be like wearing these nails if that makes sense Yes, I do plan on wearing these nails. <laughs> I think they're gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this tiny gel in there. I feel like it'll kind of up the opacity. Why did it make it like orangey? <gasps> no, what happened? Hopefully this will make this like yellow again. Okay, I feel like that's probably as close as I'm gonna get, which I feel like it is pretty close. So I feel like it's fine. First, we will build our tart and then design the nail after it. So let's get a little crust out. So I'm going to fill the bottom with clear before we put any of the yellow in because typically you can't cure multiple milliliters of thickness with nail gel. So we'll just put a clear base down and then we can come back after this is cured and put the yellow on top just where it's gonna show. Then now I'm gonna do a thin layer of the yellow and this layer is to pretty much just cover the clear. We'll do one more thin layer. Looking nice. So now we need to grab out some meringue. So cute. And a lemon. Look at how detailed these lemons are. And now with this last layer, we will sit the meringue and the lemon in. And then we can sit our meringue and lemon down and cure. 
So for the nails, I'm actually going to do two of them just cause you know, I only got three of these little mini brands and I have five fingers. So I figured each of these can get two, although I am going to do them differently and incorporate the ingredients differently. But first I'm painting each nail with our lemon cream color. And I'm gonna do that until it's opaque, however many layers that may take which might be a couple since we did use quite a bit of the jelly gel. All right, look at that. So I've pretty much run out of this gel, so I think I might have to use this one now for part of my design for one of the hands. I kind of wanted it to look like, like showing the texture, like as if this was like the top of the tart and especially in like the center. Then I mixed up a color of like the crust and I'm gonna do like a little crust on the outside and I'm gonna kind of just do some sort of like swirly shape for it. Alrighty, we're almost done with this one, but I'm gonna put my top coat on. I love how this looks. Honestly, I feel like the crust part makes it so cute. Okay, wait, that's shiny. Should I do it matte? I kind of feel like it should be matte. Nails by Dove matte top coat. This one is my absolute favorite. And this matte top coat does not stain. I had it on a set of white nails for like two weeks and they stayed perfectly white. They got a small stain from some curry as pretty much any other nail would do, but it ended up just like fading off after a day or so, which was really cool. Like it held up really, really well. And lastly, I'm gonna put on a couple meringues. Oh wait, there's smaller ones in here. Look at they're not all giant. One here, then another small one. And then of course a little lemon. Now I need some milky white for this nail because I wanna do the design kind of like in a swirly design like the cream here and here, like the meringue, but just kind of like a swirl, like a peppermint type swirl. It will be very subtle though. And I may need to do two coats of this milky white, we'll see. And I'm definitely needing to do a second coat because you can barely see it. You can kind of see like the difference in like height of the gel, but other than that, it's very subtle, which I want it to be subtle, but I also want it to be visible. All right, I love that. I feel like that's like a nice little subtle thing. And then I'm gonna put my little tart on top. Now, I don't know if I want this one to be matte or shiny. I feel like this one should be shiny, maybe. Such a hard decision. Okay, you know what, we'll make it matte, and then if I don't like it, I will make it shiny. Let's wipe off the sticky layer and see if we like it matte. Mm, no, I want it shiny. I feel like it looks way too light like that. I wonder if I actually need to like add a little bit of the toastiness, I guess, to the meringue. I think I do. That must be what was missing. That is much better. So now finally, let's put the actual tart on. And I'm gonna do a full cure now. And there we have it, our two lemon tart nails. I love them. I actually think this one is my favorite though. I feel like it does look like a little tart. And here is what it's technically supposed to look like. So now we have one left. This one also is a diner series. All right, these suck to open. I'm just going in with scissors. <laughs> All right, so first off we have this. I think these are maybe supposed to be placemats and just the other one was like bent. So we got a little placemat that says Mangia, the table of course, instructions and stuff. First up as usual, the cutlery and this one comes with a fork, tweezers and the top. I'm gonna be honest, from just pulling out some of these little bags, I feel like this might be a bigger item. So I'm a little scared, <laughs> but let's open on up the first one. And we have pasta. Okay, so we're gonna have two nails with pasta in them. What are the chances? Okay, this one we have a bowl. This is quite a uh, large bowl. I don't know how well this would go on my nails. Oh my gosh, look, it's a little thing of herbs. That is so adorable. And the little pieces on here are teeny tiny like little sprinkles almost. So cute. Okay, this is a big thing. Oh my gosh, olive oil. So this is the resin part. All right, we have our last two packets. Oh my gosh, little tomatoes. That is so cute. And last but not least. Okay, I think these are supposed to be like little basil leaves. 
This is so cute. And I'm so glad this one has so many like teeny tiny pieces. I love it. Okay, so this one is obviously like a tomato pasta. All right, I'm pretty happy with this one. This one's really cute. And this one I feel like has a lot of tiny pieces. So I feel like for this one, it'll probably be like, maybe I'll make like a little, I don't know, maybe a bowl on my nails and not use this bowl though, cause it is too big for sure. Or just make the whole nail the pasta. That's a good idea too. I don't know what I wanna do. So let's get to it. Because I was a little confused on if this was just gonna be like just olive oil or what kind of pasta it was exactly, I did look and it said it was a pesto. So we'd mix this and this, which makes sense. But before we do that, I actually need to put the base on my nails before we can do anything else. For the base of my nails, I'm actually going to try to make them look like wood like a wooden table. So the very bottom color does not matter that much. I just need it some sort of a shade of brown. So I'm gonna just use what I have left over on this gross palette. Then I'm just going to take a variety of all of my like neutral brown toned gels and try to just make something that looks like this. I don't know, I'm just gonna just kind of go at it doing like little streaks and stuff like that because I think it's been a really long time since I've done any sort of like wood looking texture on my nails and I cannot remember how I did it. So I'm just gonna go at it. Not me trying to get some texture by like fraying out a super cheap like disposable brush and it just coming out. I guess a fan brush will have to do. <laughs> All right, here is the wood looking type nails. I spent an embarrassingly long time on them. I think they look okay. I think when I put everything together, it'll definitely look like wood and what it's supposed to. So in this kit, we got this like white bowl, which obviously we cannot use. So what I wanna do is sculpt a bowl on top of my nails for the pasta. So I grabbed out my white trippy gel and I feel like this is gonna be fine because this gel is very, very malleable. So I feel like I should be able to like raise it up and hollow it out easily, I guess. And I think it should be like an oval shape bowl. So I got it on there. And then now uh, I'm just going to attempt to kind of carve it out. I've never made a bowl before, especially on my nails. So this is probably a first. All right, I think I'm gonna be needing a lot more than I think. So this is a good base for the bowl, I think. I think I'm gonna have to like cure and like build upwards. That was a bit harder than I thought. I think that I'm gonna just like roll these in like long little snakes and then try to wrap it just like around and on top of itself. Kind of like this. And then I can go and shape it afterwards. All right, now we're talking. I feel like I can do it with this. So it's kind of looking a little bit more like a flower pot or something and not necessarily a uh, pasta dish, but I'm gonna just keep working on it, but just kind of trying to like smush it down and like widen it out kind of, like even up the sides. So here it is, it is quite large and it's not like entirely smooth or anything, um, but I'm gonna kind of keep it as like an artistic choice, you know, like a fun bowl or something. I feel like really what matters kind of is like how it looks from, you know, just like here, like tilted a little bit and like straight on. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm just gonna fill in this bottom part though with some white gel. So we're not seeing any of the other color through there. Now that we did that, let's see what color the olive oil is so we can color match. So a bright yellow, so just the clear and I think a tiny bit of this jelly yellow and that's probably gonna be it. Okay, mine's actually a little bit paler. Let's add a little bit more yellow. All right, so it's not exact. I feel like this one looks a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna add the tiniest dab of this bright like cool toned yellow. One last try. Ah, it's like exact almost, perfect. All right, we have that, but it's supposed to be a pesto. So I think we need to add the herbs in and look at how tiny that is. So adorable. I wonder how it's just like a little shaker. Oh, okay, that poured out so much quicker than I thought. 
All right, that looks a little better. <laughs> I did not mean to add so much. It just like all poured out. I wasn't even really trying to pour it that single second either. It was a really loud car going by my house and I was waiting and I think I just accidentally tilted it. <laughs> I'm gonna use my just already open box of pasta because it is the same thing. I feel like we actually need a lot of this because this is a pretty large bowl, but I also need my tomatoes. Look at the little details on those. And lastly, we need to get our basil. So we're gonna have to definitely do the pasta in multiple stages because we want everything to stick down. So I just put a little bit of our olive oil. Then I'm gonna start grabbing some pasta. I'm trying to like roll it around in that, kind of. Okay, I feel like that's a good base. So let's flash cure that. Then now I'll grab a tomato, make sure that everything is coated. Maybe another tomato. And then I'll cure this in place really quick. So far, I feel like it's looking really good, although there isn't nearly as much room in this bowl as I thought there was. Like I thought this was a giant bowl, but now that I'm actually putting things in here, it does not seem like that much. I gave that a good cure. Now I'm gonna go in just lightly with a top coat, just so things aren't very sticky, you know? And then I'm gonna put the basil leaves on top of that. I don't think these should be like tossed with everything else. I think they get put on last. I love the variations in the size of leaves. Look at, they have like single ones and then double. So on this finger, we're gonna put the fork. Hopefully it'll fit. That's a big fork. <laughs> will it fit? Okay, it will mostly fit. Get some glue on there. And then I feel like we should put a piece of pasta at the end. And let's make sure we get some sauce on that. And our pasta is done. I love it. I feel like they go so good together. But don't think I forgot that we need to put on the chicken soup nail. And this will be getting put on with just glue. <laughs> and here it is. And here is all of it all complete. I actually love these so much. Way more than I thought I would. They're just so fun. I actually think that this set in general is my favorite. I just think like this giant bowl of pasta is so funny. And then individually, I think my favorite is this one. This one is also the most wearable. Like imagine a whole hand like this, but different flavors, like a strawberry, a lime. It'd be so cute and totally wearable. Unlike this, which is a bit um, less wearable. <laughs> it's quite heavy, kind of knocks into things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was super fun. I've been dying to do this, so I'm so glad I finally got to, and I'm really happy with all of the results. I can't say that every one of these little Make It Mini kits would be good on your nails, but most of them at least have a couple like really, really teeny tiny pieces, kind of like the meringue or the lemon here, or, you know, individually these are small. Please let me know if you guys want me to do this again. Please make sure to give this a like if you do want that. I'd be more than happy to do that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye! Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna show you one at a time. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love how you put the spoon on there. That's cool. Then next we have a, a lemon tart. <gasps> it is the tart! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's super cute. I love that. That's honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and then next is the one with the like actual tart. I like how the top is the, that's that. The meringue. The meringue, mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew that was, that was called. Oh, I love that. I love how you made this little bowl. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. And then next is <laughs> Oh, that's so much fun. Oh, these are great. I love them. Thank you. This has soup in the spoon? Yeah. That's so cool. These are so much fun.